What's up, y'all? So funny, Mike, mad at Jalea, liking dude picks, dude picks included. Neek's ex, Fredo Bang, won't smoke. First of all, if Fredo Bang don't go back to jail. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what be going on with these dudes, but yes, sir, we about to get into this video. You did grab a snack or something? Let's get into it. Hurry up. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell yeah leave. So listen, y'all, uh, it's midday, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to react to this video real fast because we need uh, three to four videos today, but we about to get into this video. I just seen it. Shout out to my sis voice. Let's get it. And Funny Mike got into a heated disagreement on Twitter. Before I read the tweets, Funny Mike is upset that Jalea is following Flo on social media. And not only are they following each other on social media, but Flo took the time out to like all of her pictures on Instagram and Twitter, which made Funny Mike get in his feelings what? and start liking all of Jalea friends' pictures on Twitter. Yes, Funny Mike is petty, but doesn't Flo have a girl that he talked to? Why are you liking this man's girl pictures if you already have a girl? I don't know, but Jalea ended up blocking him on all social medias. And personally, in this situation, I feel like Funny Mike is right. Y'all remember when he was following Tata on social media, CJ side chick, and Jalea was going off. She felt some type of way about it, and he had to totally block her. And not only is he like an old... Yeah, she twerked like she 19. <laughs> but any man that makes this noise for your woman... Look at Jalea! I wouldn't trust them neither. Wait, what? I wouldn't trust them neither. <laughs> now nah, he was excited to see her. <laughs> Funny Mike tweeted, let's read the tweet. Falling back from a lot of motherfuckers. Laugh out loud, ain't no loyalty out here. Money don't mean shit. Find someone that cherish every moment with you. Time is precious in it wisely. He's just in his feelings with these quotes. But but Jalea actually went in. She was in her feelings. She said, a dude say I've been having him looking stupid. Y'all, who been the clown? Keep it the fuck real. Okay. I go out with one dude on Instagram and I'm a fool. It be the high school shit for me, for real. I'm just in disbelief like for real. Because I've been wearing this clown costume all this time. As given, um, they set this up for uh bag. Uh, Vember, yeah. You gonna say you look like a fool? And wanna get on this bitch and act wholesome? Your feelings really hurt? I got called that D Blake for following somebody. Oh lord, that's what that means, y'all. But that's that on that. Y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that. Next topic. So let's talk about. It's given he about to help um Flo get his subs up. About Chris Sales and Leslie because they have been dropping some very spicy videos. They have the internet talking right now and everybody wants to know what's happening behind the cameras. If y'all doing this on they camera. Doing now, it. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm here for the whole Chris and Leslie hookup. I think they look cute together. I think Chris is a different person when he's around her. You know, mm -hmm. it takes growth. And I see the growth. I see he's trying I to agree. be a better person. But somehow, even though Chris and Leslie are happy, they always tend to add Queen in the mix. Now, Queen decided to post up some content because she has a break in Oh, right. Tour. So she posted up some content with Clarence. So people feel like the reason why she posts up content is because everybody's talking about Chris and Leslie videos. I'm so glad that she brought this up because I haven't made a video about it. But I just want to say this. She is on tour. Tour. <laughs> on a, On tour. Guys, um, I don't think that she even needs this YouTube bag. I think they did it for fun. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, Clarence got his reaction channel. He doing his thing. Queen is on tour doing her thing. Chris and Leslie are doing they thing. Why can't they do they thing? You know, I, I, it's frustrating. It's it's really frustrating to um keep continuously speaking about, but it's like, get over it. <laughs> Let these people live in peace. So supposedly she's only posting up videos to be petty. Queen responded to those people. She tweeted, like, the reason what? why people think me and Clarence drop videos is hilarious to me. Y'all know, especially after birthdays and during holidays, we get to the bag. Period. Period. Everybody is and dropping. that's what everybody is doing. I keep telling y'all it's bag season. This shit ain't free. Also, somebody said <laughs> in my comments, all money, not good money. Talking about uh, Chris and Leslie. All money may not be good money, but bitch, it's money. Okay? And it spends the same. I just want to say that Chris don't owe 
Queen or Clarence no loyalty. Leslie don't either, and they don't either. You know, I, I, I definitely like to throw them both in there. Clarence and Queen don't owe Chris and Leslie nothing, and Chris and Leslie don't owe Clarence and Queen shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like they sleeping with somebody cousin. <laughs> Honestly, at first, like I said, yeah, it was like, damn, bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> but something beautiful is coming out of this. I'm happy for all parties. I, I, Content right now, especially if she's on break. I'm happy get to for that all bag. But let's talk about DDG, because over the weekend, he revealed his Lambo truck was stolen. He tweeted, I've been single for longer than... Goodbye. Oh, no, I'm not watching this on the wrong channel. I know Janae is like, girl. I'm about to switch the channel just because of that. <laughs> First of all, shout out to my friend Janae. She hooked us up with the um with the premium. Well, we on her account. She didn't pay for premium for us, but we we on her account. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch and go to Janae's account. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, here we are. No ads. Come on, no ads. And if y'all wondering why I did that. I'm scared to get premium, not get ads, and think I feel like they're not going to give me my ads. <laughs> That's why I'm really scared to get premium, and I feel like they're not going to give me my ads. Um, So I, I don't do the premium thing, but appreciate you, friend. Struck now. Anyway, let's talk about Corey, because over the, Wait, the weekend, I missed that. Concert, Ruby posted the VIP sex her and her friends to her ex truck and his heart he just my car was stolen and she won't give it back lol and she tweeted the only thing i stole was that boy's heart he just in his feelings now <laughs> ruby is a savage because she really did steal his lambo truck and not only did she steal his lambo truck Daddy but she drove the home and get his oh damn lambo truck with her and her friends to her ex playboy party's concert so supporters showed videos of her in the vip section at his concert and somebody tweeted that she was backstage at his concert ruby posted city girls up 1000 curious sis after her fun filled weekend she did return ddg's truck so he does have his truck now anyway let's talk about Corey because okay. over the weekend this girl on tiktok was going viral supposedly she claimed her and Corey was talking in the dms girl let it go poor core obviously the dms were photoshopped we know it was photoshopped everybody knew it was fake but the fact i know y'all like nick shut up ain't no poor core he done cheated blah 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 i get it i'm just saying damn if, if the boy would like to change just like People don't like change. I hate that. That's why they keep giving Chris a hard time. Damn. People change, man. She was going viral is what made Corey actually speak out. And here's what he had to say. Hey, look, they keep tagging me. Look, I swear to God, now my phone just keep being brought up. This, they keep tagging me and shit, bro. And they would not leave me alone. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this shit, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Like, look, look at this shit, man. Look, look, look at the good. Who, who, who is that? Who is, who is you, first of all? Okay. On my, and, I'm, and I'm on my motorcycle. She know I'm on my bike, so she texts me. It's like, no. it got to be some important or some shit. So I don't know. I'm literally riding the motorcycle, like, trying to check my phone. So I see the message. I, I open it. I'm riding, I'm, while I'm riding a bike, man, Carmen, she sent me that shit. I looked at it. I said, man, what the? I just said, I said, man, that's fake. She's like, I know. I said, man, I'm, I'm tired of this shit, bro. Said, I already know. And then, so I got down. I went to her TikTok page, cause I was just curious to see who the it was. I went to her TikTok page. Man, my had like 200 followers, just trying to get some clout. But my thing is though, y'all females is embarrassing, bro. Like who does that? Like why would you be so proud to even try to make it sound like you talking to somebody? Uh, you know what? I have no answer for that either. But I will say, you know, I, cheating is not a mistake. <laughs> Okay, so I don't ever want to be like, it's a mistake because y'all hate when I say that shit. But um, it's like he fucked up once and now he just, well, uh, he fucked up a couple times. Don't come for me. He messed up a couple times and now he just can't can't redeem himself. Sad. Y'all females got to stop that shit, bro. Don't do that. that, that that's not a good look on y'all. He looked really aggravated. That's not a good look at all. Y'all got to stop that shit, man. Don't be doing that crazy shit. Real talk, you hear me? Cause that shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. Okay. Somebody, uh, I don't why would you even be so proud to even try to talk to me? Since you say, since y'all say that, I'm just this that do this that do that. Why would you even try to talk to me? So yeah, that means y'all be proud to try and talk to me that y'all claim do everything under the damn sun. 
Of and course. then you be having all these other ones to believe in that dumb shit. I just be like, oh my god, bro. Like, like, all right, I don't like, like his energy. He real aggravated. Let's talk about Fredo and Jasmine. <laughs> and Jasmine like... posted up, I'm done forgiving all that matters. And people assumed that she was talking about Fredo. But Fredo comment, this has nothing to do with us. Please stop the bait. Now, yesterday at Ava's birthday party, happy birthday, Ava. They seem happy co-parenting. They're not together, but they did seem happy. They were joking. They were co-parenting. Everything looked like it was going well. So, yeah. Just wanted to give y'all an update on that real quick. They, they, I will say they get the co-parenting thing popping. I'm going to say this too, though. Jasmine ain't going to let that boy be happy unless... She he would. <laughs> he decided to get another girlfriend. It's a wrap. He ain't gonna see the baby forever. She really got control over him for the rest of his life. It's unfortunate. Real quick. Now, real quick, last oh, week I shirt. talked about Damien Prince, father Damien Damn, Pryor. There was like audio leaked of him talking crap about his son, Damien Prince. And it was leaked by his baby mother, Erica. She was in her feelings because she's getting $500 in child support. And not only that, she feels like Damien Pryor is not helping her with her son. So to get back at him, she leaked the audio. Not only did she leak some audio, but she told some information that was supposed to be private, which Damien Pryor's fiance now is having a hard time having children. She had several miscarriages and oh, she revealed no. that to the world, which that was supposed to be a conversation between Damien Pryor and Latoya. But for some reason, Damien Pryor went back and told Erica, his baby mother, which I don't even know why he did that. You know she tells everything. But now Latoya feels some type of way and they ended up breaking. I can't believe they rich ass still eating McDonald's. Like what? <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I don't mean since you rich, you can't have a burger. <coughs> a dollar burger, okay? That's not what I'm saying. Mm-mm. It's just, he can make that burger at home because McDonald's just, come on. Like, do y'all still eat McDonald's? I really would like to know that. Breaking up. So Damien Pryor and Latoya are no longer together. That's that on that. I'm not surprised. But let's move on. Prayers go up for Kayla Nicole. And Damn, they broke up. Oh. Her family, they had a terrible accident on the road on their way home. Her fiance was driving, but her and the baby were also in the car as well. Here's what he had to say. I'm just glad everybody's all right and safe. I'm praying for them. Oh, Send them lots of love their way. Definitely hit Kayla up in the DM or her comments, everything, and show her lots of love and keep praying for their family. I'm gonna insert some clips for y'all what happened last night, but I'm yeah. gonna tell y'all what happened. So, yeah, we was driving home. I'm a few minutes away from home, and a man on the opposite side of the road crossed his crossed into my lane. So I swerved over, and he hit the back of my uh, truck and made us spin. Me and Kayla spin around in the truck. He hit a pole and hit the light, the light, um, a light pole too. Damn. So it got me mad, really, but you know, materialistic type thing. And for real, so just glad we was okay. Yeah, I'm glad the baby know, okay. My fault. It was his fault. It's just sad to sit here looking at the camera at this video, but I'm still loving. So yeah, niggas really be mad about the car. Like I, I really, nigga, it really be like fuck that car. Like, are y'all all right? Is everybody all right? It broke my wheel off. Mm. Broke the axle. Oh. Exhaust fail now. That's yeah, crazy. All that back there. That was a terrible wreck. I ain't gonna hold you. And so how he ended up hitting to me, y'all. So he hit, I mean, his dog jumped into his lap. And he ended up swerving so he can take control of his truck. So his truck went into my. Went. Grab me and Kevin. All right. Just blessed to still be there. He talked real slow, y'all. Yeah. That she broke up with Fredo Bing while he was in there, and then she started dating he her lost best weight. boyfriend. And now they're together, but Fredo Bing is out now, and he liked their picture on Twitter. You gotta be careful when you messing with these rappers, and you really ain't about that life, because they expect you to hold them down. And the fact that you left when he went in, and then you started messing with another dude, it's like, damn, Jordy, like, you know what I mean? So yeah, y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, peace. <laughs> I don't think she was still messing with him anyway, to be honest with you. But, um, all right, y'all, I'm done with this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You dig? Uh, yeah, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace.